So imagine if anything that you heard, you could play it straight back on your saxophone, anything at all. Would that be amazing? I think that'd be the most amazing thing ever as a saxophone player. And if you do any sort of improvising, then that is a really, really important skill. In fact, it's something I get asked about all the time inside sax school. So I created a little course called uh, Ear Training 101, which is basically a step-by-step -step process of uh, walking you through how that works. And today, anyway, I thought we'd do something different and I'd take one of the lessons from that mini course and stick it up on YouTube for you guys to have a look at, because I think it's really, really important. This is one of the most important skills you can develop as a saxophone player. Anyway, I hope you enjoy looking at this lesson. There's some really good stuff in here. I hope it's really gonna help you. If you wanna see the full mini course on ear training, you can check it out with a 30-day trial to Sax School. That's still running at the moment, so you can get free access to that mini course, all my other mini courses, and hundreds of other lessons too. Anyway, it's a free trial. It's worth checking it out and seeing if it's the right thing for you. So that's that, but anyway, enjoy this lesson, and uh, I hope you find it interesting. Well, welcome back to Ear Training 101. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the basic skills that you use for finding out notes. There's a system that we use for finding notes uh, that we can hear and then transferring to our saxophone. And if you can work through the system in the same way every time, then the process becomes much, much faster really, really quickly. And before you know it, it'll be just a second nature thing. So in this exercise, what we're gonna do is think about just in a single key, that's gonna make things easier for us. We're gonna look at the key of F concert. So for the alto saxophone, we're gonna be in the key of D major. So that means we're gonna see F sharps and C sharps all the way through. And in fact, maybe it's a good idea, first of all, to play through that major scale. So if you're in uh, on alto saxophone, D major scale is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. <laughs> So just get yourself comfortable with that scale. And if you're a tenor player, well, F concert puts us in the key of G major. So for G major, we've just got F sharp. So it's gonna be G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. So just take a quick minute and run up and down that scale a few times and really get your fingers around it, get your get it in your head so that you can hear what that scale sounds like. I'll wait for you. Have we done that? Okay, radio. So this is the uh, system that we use. Now we're gonna look at just two notes to get, it, get started really, really simple. And to make it even easier for us, the first note is always gonna be the naming note of the scale. So if you're on the tenor saxophone, it's gonna be a G. The first note will be a G because we're in the key of G major on the, on the tenor. And if you're in the, on the alto saxophone, the first note's gonna be a D, because you're in D major on the alto. Now I know when real in the real world you may be in whatever key, but for now let's keep it just to this one key so we can concentrate on learning the basic skills that we use. Once we've got that down, it's easier then to transfer it to other keys. Make sense? Okie dokie, so the first note's always gonna be the naming note of the scale, so we've really only gotta think about the second note in our, in our two note interval. So, I'll show you how this works. I'm gonna play an interval for you now. Have a listen closely because the next thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to sing that interval back to me. Okay, so let's say the interval is this. Okay, so let's try singing that back. So the first note's here, and the second note is here. La, la, da, da. Can you sing that back? Da, da. Okay, so now we've sung those notes and we can hear them. And it doesn't matter how bad your singing is, as long as you can get that pitch right. Da, da. So I can hear when I'm singing that it's the first note's here and the second note's up somewhere above it. Ba, ba, it's higher, ba, ba. So to find how much higher, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sing up my scale. Ba, and remember we played through our scales a minute ago, so ba, 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 ba. So ba, ba. If I work up my scale till I get to that second note and then think about how many steps, Ba, ba, ba. 
that's going to help me work out the interval on my saxophone. So there's my first note, da, da, da. So I'm only going up three steps. One, two, three. So my third note of my scale is my second note. Okay, so let's now transfer that onto our, our saxophones. So we know our first note is the first note of the scale. On the tenor, my first note is a G, because we're in the key of G. On the alto, it's a D, because we're in the key of D. But we went up one, two, three, up to the third note of the scale. So on the tenor, my first note's a G, my second note's an A, my third note's a B. Let's now check it and see if that's right. So G up to B. For the, for the alto, it would be D, E, F sharp. Yeah? So let's check that. <laughs> Sounds right to me. Let's check it on the alto. So remember we're in the key of D. So it would be D is the first note of the scale, E is the second, F sharp's the third. That works perfectly. So do you see the steps there? We listened. We sung. We then we worked up the scale from the first note to find the second note and then we transfer that back to our saxophone. Make sense? Brilliant, let's try another interval. So I'm gonna play another one for you. Remember we're starting on the first note of the scale. So on the alto now it's gonna be a D, on the tenor it's a G. Here's the interval. So there's my first note. My second note is here. Da da, can you sing that? Da ba. That feels to be like a bigger interval, right? It's further than the old one, the previous one. Da ba. Okay, so we've listened, we've sung it. Now let's sing up the scale until we can find whereabouts that second note is. So, da 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 da. That's it. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth note of the scale. My singing's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm sure your singing won't be any worse than mine. So it doesn't matter how good your singing is, it's, if you can go through that step of singing it out, honestly, it's gonna make it much easier for you to find those notes. So I think it's five notes up. There's my first note. <laughs> Da, first note, one, two, three, four, five. So if I transfer that now back to my saxophone, which is the next step, I'm starting on a D, because I'm in the key of D, and I go D is one, E is two, F sharp is three, G is four, A is five. Now let's check it. And what do you know? It's exactly right. So if I was on my tenor, Remember, I'm in the key of G. So if I'm gonna go up five notes from G, that'd be G is one, A is two, B is three, C is four, D is five. And it's spot on. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try one more, just before we move on to doing some proper exercises with intervals. Uh, okay, so let's see if you can work out this one. So here's the notes. So can you sing it with me? Da 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 da. Okay, can you sing up the scale to find that note? It's pretty easy this one because if we sing up the scale, da 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 da. It's the first step up the scale, right? So this is the first note of the scale. This is our second note, which is the second note of the scale. Easy peasy. So now can you find that note on your saxophone? If we're going up the scale, remember we're starting on a G on the tenor, a D on the alto. Did you get it? So the second note of the scale is gonna be an A on the tenor or an E on the alto. Does that make sense? All right, so those are the steps. We listen, we sing it, 
You sing up the scale to find that second note, transfer that back to your saxophone. Does that make sense? Okay, now, very quickly, you're going to find that you'll be able to go from going through all the steps in a systematic way to be able to do it almost instantly. Honestly, it will come very, very quickly. But uh, once you go through in those steps, you know, you just got to get a little bit of practice. And before you know it, you'll be up, able to get up there. Wow, you stuck around to the end. That's brilliant. I hope you found some interesting stuff in this lesson. I, I love this topic. It's one of the things that I work on all the time with my own playing. And I'm always talking to students about ear training is such a powerful skill. Don't forget, if you want to check out the full mini course that this lesson is from, and actually there's a ton of great stuff in that mini course where we really dig in and do lots of exercises that help to develop these ear skills. Uh, you can grab a 30-day trial to SAC School if you're not already a member and uh, look at this mini course, get all the resources, plus all the other mini courses and all the other hundreds of lessons inside SAC School. So that's at mcgillmusic.com. Just sign up, try it out and see if SAC School is right for you. But anyway, have some fun. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm putting new videos up all the time to help you improve your saxophone skills and I'll catch you next time.